our final day. If this is your first video with us, we've been doing a purging week here in our house. We'd love for you to go back to the beginning and watch them through in order. Uh, it's really important to us that we include our kids through the whole process. Uh, really, it's not so much for me about how much stuff we have, as much as it is setting my kids up for a life of non-consumerism and, and being aware of the things that they own and owning things with purpose. So I, I have no interest at all in just getting rid of their stuff or making it about how much we own today. I really want them to understand why, why we do what we do. So this is our final day. All we have to do is put away our last few things, some books and some school supplies that we haven't done yet. And we're gonna give you a walk around and see how the week went and see what you think. Andrew, what are you working on? Hey Ryan, what you doing? I'm doing, I'm sorting my school papers. I'm putting my binder. I've got a nice stack of books. Papers. Yeah, that's my school. It's not bad. Pam and Benjamin, how are you enjoying the new toy room? Benjamin, do you like it? Hey guys, we finally finished purging. It only took us like five days and our house is way better now. So we tidied this room and there's like, we took everything off of the fireplace. Those cubbies are way nicer, it's way less busy. And yeah. And then in here, We still got this stuff here that we're selling, so we're getting rid of this. That that's gonna stay for the week because we're doing the garage and selling stuff in the garage next week. We're gonna let we're gonna have stuff listed for the week and hopefully most of it goes. Yeah, and then our hutch we neatened it way up and got it ready for when we're gonna start school in September, and so it looks way less cluttered. It's fantastic. The cupboards and drawers are also way nicer. Super organized. Ugh, it's mine and Andrea's stuff. A little bit of a difference between the high school students and early elementary. We've got our own library. Yes, and then David and Jacob's are up there. And then we also did the toy room, which is right here. We also looks way nicer. We sold our play kitchen, which was here, and now there's a big free room area. Our cubbies, have, we cleared off all that junk on the top and it's just way less busy in here so the kids will actually come and play in here because they won't be overwhelmed by everything. And so yeah, and our, we also purged our plate food. So we've got like half a thing of empty bins, which is awesome. And yeah. So what else did we keep? We kept some little Cars and animals. Shopkins. Shopkins. Yeah. Plain yeah. food. And then a lot of that's school supplies. And we kept Duplo as per request of the big kids because they play with it with their big Lego, believe it or not. Which is actually little Lego as it's smaller. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, or yes. And we have one bin of dress up clothes, which is kind of crowned, but it's all in one place. And a little bit of Barbies. A bunch of craft supplies. Yep, craft, craft supplies, supplies, craft supplies, school supplies and stuff up there. Yeah. Okay. All right. And We're out in the other area we did. Basement. Yeah. Like, did we do the basement? I think we did the basement. Yeah, we did. Okay, so. 
Mm. Oh, under the pool table. Whoa. Yeah, there's nothing down there. All clean. We've got our stuffies. A few stuffies. Our Lego is still, no, we still have a lot of it. But it's um, all contained in one spot. And here is way more organized. We still got our library and our, um, our board games. Our yeah. family loves board games. We got rid of like none. But we have like two empty cubbies. Yes, it's fantastic. And school supplies and books. Yep. That's and it. That's it. And then gaming and entertainment. Yeah. And everything else is cleaned up. And our, you know, home theater. Yep. Screen and oh, come on. projector. This. It's okay, Ryan. Don't bother. Don't bother. Thank you. <laughs> So we have these cute little couches that the kids got. It was their first birthday present every year. We had six of them, but Andrea's is gone. But this was one of those items that was requested to keep because people aren't ready to get rid of them yet. Well, not everybody, but- Yeah, I'm fine to get rid of them. But other people weren't. So we don't hang, we're hanging on to those. Yeah. And I think that's everything. So tell me, how do you feel about it all? It's way nicer in here. And it's way, it's actually, even though we didn't actually purge as much as we purged the last time we purged, it's still like way easier to clean when from what we purged and it's like way less cluttered and less stressful to be in. It's awesome. Let's go find out what the other kids thought. Okay, Emma and Benjamin, tell me what you think now that all those toys are gone. Good. Way empty. And what do you think about that? It's good. What do you like about it? Good. There's more space to play. Okay. Do you miss anything we got rid of? Benjamin, were you asked to get rid of anything you weren't ready to get rid of? Uh, no. So you're happy we got rid of what we did? Does it feel more peaceful in here? Yeah. yeah. Tell me, David, what do you think about all of it? Um, there's a lot more room to do, like, to play. Everything's more organized. There's not as much stuff, like, to get disorganized. Okay. And it can all stay organized easier. How's it feel in here? It feels a lot less stressful. So the consensus is that it is way more peaceful in here, way more calm, less messy. Yeah, yeah. less messy, way less messy, which is fantastic because that's what we were going for. Are we done? Is there more stuff we could get rid of? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, most definitely there is. Um, so we're just. But that's not what this is about. This is about just getting rid of some of the mess and some of the clutter and stuff that we're done with. And, and for us, minimalism is a process. It's not something we just went from hoarders to extreme minimalists. It's been a process and we're really enjoying it. Hey YouTube, we're done. I'm about to head downstairs and talk to the kids and wrap up. One of the things that I really noticed through this is we are by no means extreme minimalists, not even a little bit actually. For us, it's been a journey, a journey going from having way too much stuff, maybe even verging on hoarders to, to simplifying life and freeing up space and freeing up time and energy and emotions. And this is just one more step in our journey. So my encouragement to you through all of this is to find what works for you. Don't try and compare yourself to anybody else, not on YouTube, not your friends, not anywhere else. Find what works for your family. Find what brings you joy and brings you value in your stuff and go with that. This for us, I, I can still walk around and look and see stuff that I would get rid of, but that's okay. That's okay, because this was one week and we made a big dent and a big change and I'm okay with that. And I think the kids are too. I think if it was too extreme that that they might uh, they might retaliate against that or they might, they might back rail or rail against that. And I'm okay with just taking this slowly over the years so far. Where this is a three year journey for us. And as long as we're getting less stuff and not more stuff, we're definitely in the right direction. I guess it's kind of like getting out of debt. You're either going in debt or you're getting out of debt. It doesn't just magically happen overnight. So this is us. This is our point in our journey and I hope this helps you. Hopes this helps you find peace in your home and wherever you are at. I've got the kid in on my head. Is she asleep? I can't tell. No. She's not. So the video right there, Andrew put it there, and it's a great video. I think you'll really like it right there. If you aren't interested in that one, there's another great video. YouTube put it right there. That one's also fantastic, and I think you'll really enjoy that one as well. You can choose. They're both great. And yeah, thanks for watching.